just the back and forth a minute. Oh. And there's a big rock. Here comes Romero. Oh. What a pull counter. There that we go. We have there it is. Champion, ladies and gentlemen. First fighter to be posthumously inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. He fashioned with some pretty, <laughs> some pretty nice, uh, god damn, that's <laughs> a nice wrestling shoot, but also a uh, character model that got all the flex rates on point. Now, Kevin Randleman was a pioneer in MMA. He was, the, all these complex developed systems in MMA that we have now for a lot of these systems, that was not the case. In this heyday, a lot of these fighters, they fought through a lot of stuff. Kevin Random had issues with staph infections. A litany of problems with his cardio. Getting into dominant positions in the ground and pound. And then somehow finding a way to lose by submission. But he was loved by many. And they added him over to UFC 5, so I'm excited. I was uh, noticing his 86 cardio. I'm like, yeah, that's about right. Output's never been anything too crazy. And with Kevin Randleman, his main best weapons were lead hook and crosses. Of course, his overhands. As we failed to time that over the lead leg. Let's see what gone. We ain't got much. I'm trying to stick to the, the cue as much as possible with what Kevin Randleman likes to do. So, that's a dirty clinch filing. Our cardio is going down exponentially. There we go. But we find ourselves a takedown. I want to get a slam or something, but... Here our goal with Kevin Randleman is to look for ground and pound upon ground and pound upon ground and pound. We're not really going to be looking for submissions. Try to go backside. Oh, ho, 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 you got your damn mind. He does have five star ground and pound. Look at the damage that does to the block. Ooh, perfect opportunity. Let's see if we can try to get a slam. There we go. Strong Matt return. Let's see if he tries to roll a full guard. No, he goes back up. Dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're just gonna keep giving this to me. Goes forward. Oh, we hit the broomstick instead. No. <laughs> I wanted to hit the damn slam. Alright, it's cool. At least we got one. He does have slam boost, so when you get those impactful takedowns that end up ooh, that end up causing those big hit reactions, especially the ones by the fence. You're going to get a very good influx in damage. All right, we deny that transition. Let's go over to the backside before Herb Dean decides to stand us up. Yeah, his career, lots of uh, ups and downs, lots of issues with his health. But by all means, go ahead and watch some of Kevin Randleman's fights. So you guys can just see pure raw fighting <laughs> in its finest. That, that's all I'll say. In the mount position, denies that transition to Serial Gun. We'll deny that one. It's posture. Oh. <laughs> In one sequence. All right. All right. First time using him, by the way. I didn't even uh, I didn't even do a test run. This is my basically my test run using him. He is going to be super, super, super difficult to use effectively against anybody that's using like a modern fighter that's super, super good. So we can try our best 
Trying to time the overhand over the left hand, over the left leg. Managed to get a nice overhand there. But it's, 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 it's a tough pick. Out of all takedowns, y'all gonna showcase that one? That's a good job getting the shoes. Ready to fight. Ready. He also scored in two, back in 2004 an upset of the year over Mirko Krokop. Try to lunge in. Caught Mirko with a nice... Hold on. Did they give him a signature hook? That's, that looks different. Why is it lagging? There we go. It looks... Is it like the, the Bondelay Silver hook? I think they gave him a, a different animation for his hooks. There we go. There we go. No, we're not able to get it. Oh, no. This guy's takedown defense is good. I wasn't expecting that. I think it's Devon of his silver hooks. Oh, shit. There we go. He's able to not the takedown. Oh, Lord. This is not good. Yeah. It's going to be the one dilemma you're going to have with Kevin Randleman. That cardio. We'll keep pressing forward. Let's see. Left overhead. Dude, we're gassing so hard right now. Oh, this is so fast. The cardio. There we go. And we get the finish. Brutal, brutal ground and pound, but it's really, really, I can tell, like, if you, if you don't get that damage right away with Kevin Random, and you're going to be in some trouble, in lots and lots of trouble. But we managed to land a bomb of a right hand overhand to knock down some Rugan by the cage. And we end up finishing with some hellacious ground and pound. So, I want to see if I can try to get one of those slam animations Especially like a slam animation in the single under because those hip tosses do good damage. So I'm going to search for a few more fights and continue I to show I couldn't think of, uh, <laughs> of a more horrible stylistic matchup than Cain Velasquez for Kevin Randleman. Not only does Cain Velasquez have an absurd amount of cardio, but he his boxes, super, he boxes extremely well. But you know what? Move over, Herb. We got to make sure that Cain Velasquez thinks that he can't do nothing to us. But we, at the very least, we got ourselves a decent top game. Now, Kevin... I said Kevin. Kevin. No, no, no. Kevin Randleman. It. We can't afford to be in positions where we get swept or reversed. And we're going to reiterate that point time and time again. Oh, shit. If he don't, I don't know if Kane has an arm bar. There it is. Inside trip. Let's go. Um, we got variety. He's not a two-time NCAA champion for no reason. Let's see. I think he's, he's trying to hit bump. He denies that transition. The scoop on me. Got them wrestling shoes on. Might as well use them. Okay, he denies that takedown. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Faint that. Sir. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just what we needed. Just what we needed. Flexing that NCAA plaque. We're going to look the posture. How the hell did that miss? I didn't even see him slip his head. Mount. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How? Some people just have better luck in Mount than me. This is the game plan. This is the game plan. This is the game plan right here. Back to Mount. With the highlights. I think we're we'll going to be able to knee cut right back to Mount. Let's see if we're able to with this advantage. No, we can't. We'll go right to side control. Honestly, this is like to keep Kevin Random and viable. And I do think that it kind of sucks from a ranked perspective. 
having him at four and a half star kind of sucks because, man, those stats, those stats are unforgiving to anybody that's decent. Y'all know that cardio stat is going to be a killer, but hey, you get a motherfucker over here in the mount position. And you get to work. It don't fucking matter. Who needs cardio when you knock him out in round one? Come on now. Noticing right now that I can't kick with Kevin Randleman. Like, I actually just can't kick. Like, I'm inputting kicks with him and whatnot. And I can't do it. I don't think it's intended. Maybe it's because they have the shoes for him. But we have a classic staple. The boxer versus the wrestler. There we go. And this is what's going to happen. Boom. Look at that body damage. Unable to take him out. Mike Tyson tries to reach for a leg. We're going to take backside. Got ourselves a nice wrist ride. Okay. Mike Tyson defending himself pretty well. Goes up. Oh, y'all already know what's going to happen, right? Y'all already know what's going to happen, right? Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Come on now. We're trying to get a slam. Go, go, go up again. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See, we try to hit it right away. No, he defended it. Oh, shit. Okay, we cannot, oh, we cannot be in a corner here against Mike Tyson. There we go. Another takedown. Let's go roll the sprawl. He gets right back up. Oh, no. Maybe those street beef, <laughs> those street beef videos are coming, coming to fruition. There we go. Another takedown. How many takedowns can we get? He back up to his feet. Let's see how many we can get. He's not going to let us get that one. Oh, shit. There we go. Hip toss. Trying to get as much variety as possible while I still can. He's going to get up. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. He's blocking low. He's blocking low. Fake it. Fake it. Oh, shit. There we go. Back up to his feet. Go let him up. This is what we're going to do. No, no, that's not good. Uh-oh, he defended one. Fuck, no! <laughs> Another takedown. He scrambles out! Let's see right here. Takedown threat. Fake that. The power's there. The power's all there. The power's all there. The ground and pound's all there. Pops you right back up to Neon Belly. I'm about to say, ain't no way he could defend that for that long. Oh my lord. Mm, mm, mm. Looky here, boss rooting. Somebody had their coins ready for this. Now, here's the worst thing about this matchup for us boss rooting, submission specialist. Ooh. And his animations look clean. Like, I haven't even got, got, haven't even gotten a chance to use him. The stand, that stance looks good. Nice head kick. All right. All right, we're going to circle move. Circle move. Okay, he's fainting, he's fainting, he's fainting. Notice too with Kevin Random, and I mean, you guys are gonna obviously see the moveset. But he does not have any body teeps. But we're gonna find ourselves back on the ground. Let's go immediately look to take him out. That's not good. That's not good. This is not, this is not good either. Oh my lord. The boss root in these. Mind you, he also doesn't even have a head kick. Doesn't even have a lead head kick. His leg, his leg kicks. Them bitches don't work. 
They don't work. They are level one. And for some reason, it's not working. We're trying. We're trying our best. There we go. We got rocked. What are we going to look for? We're going to look for another takedown. That's the method. <laughs> He's going to try to roll the sprawl once more. Let's wait a half second. We do have a Kimura, but let's go Crucifix instead. No dice. It's good for us here. Now we take the mount position. The top control stat is crazy. Uh-oh. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about kicks. Although, I don't know if that's intended. Oh, my God. What do we do? Yep. That is, uh... Yeah, that is some prime shit to happen. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That's biblically accurate. Oh, no. And our sub... Dude, our sub defense stat is not good. There we go. We're up. There we go. There we go. See, he's probably gonna duck. Ooh. Oh! Our chin stat held up. Oh no, he's front kicking us. There we go. There we go. Oh. Go for the ground about. Go for the ground about. One good elbow. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, we can't afford to be there. We can't afford to be there. Not with the nice shoes. There we go. There we go. There we go! <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. There is one facet. There is one facet of the game that is super, super evident from his career and from his stats, and that is ground and pound. Do not, under any circumstances, let Can Kevin Randleman take top position against you on UFC 5. We're going to call it a showcase right there. I mean, I think it's pretty clear what the game plan is always going to be. Um, obviously.